So this is a fairly tricky question because we need to prepare a rent receivable rule for to figure out what MAR would record as rental revenue under the accrual basis because all we have is the beginning and ending rents receivable balance, which is basically the same as an accounts receivable balance. And then we know that they reported $2,210,000 of rent under the cash basis method for their federal income tax return, right? Now, this question also mentions that there was uncollectible rents written off during the year of 30,000. So we will need to factor that in as well. So I'll show you how we're gonna do this. So on the screen is our roll forward for rent receivable, right? We always start with the beginning balance. And since the fiscal year ends November 30th, year two, well, the beginning balance would be the balance on November 30th, year one of $800,000. Now we would add rent revenue that's recognized under the accrual basis, right? And we don't know that. That's gonna end up being our plug once we factor in all of the other information for this question. So if we would think about what happens when the company collects rental revenue in the form of cash, well, that's going to decrease the rent receivable because it's no longer outstanding, right? And we know they collected rent in the form of cash of $2,210,000. So that's going to decrease our amount. That's why it's negative. Now, how do we treat write-offs? Let's look at the journal entry that the company would record to actually write off uncollectible rent, right? So they would have established an allowance for uncollectible rent. And when you go to write off uncollectible rent, it's the same as writing off accounts receivable. We would debit the allowance for uncollectible rent, and then we would credit rent receivable because we're fully removing that rent receivable amount because we determine it's no longer collectible at all, right? So you can see that there's a credit to rent receivable for 30,000 which is basically the uncollectible rents written off here. And so that's gonna decrease the rent receivable uh, balance, right? So that's why it's a negative amount in our rent receivable roll forward, right? So we'll have write-offs of negative 30,000. And then we get down to our ending rent receivable balance of $1,060,000, which the question gives us. So that's the full roll forward for the rent receivable balance. And when we go to factor in what's the plug here, well, it's going to be 2,500,000, right? That's the only number here that causes this roll forward to balance. And after you plug in your number, see if it balances, right? That's how you can check your answer. So the correct answer is going to be $2,500,000, which is the amount of rental revenue under the accrual basis for Mar.